Hey, good morning guys, what's up? Okay, thank you so much for coming back and watching my channel. Uh, right, as promised to you guys that uh, I'll be talking on the ICO, which is called Initial Coin Offering. So I've mentioned this topic a couple of times, but uh, so today is the get day with that we get right into it. What is an ICO? Okay, so uh, ICO, if you see, is very similar to the term called an IPO, which is initial public offering. So uh, now, uh, the Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency which was built on blockchain and with Bitcoin came blockchain itself, blockchain technology itself. So what has happened is after that, there have been many, many startups, many, many companies who are trying to build an organization based on blockchain, right? So now you you must have heard this term, okay? So you heard about Bitcoin, you heard about this coin, you heard about that coin, you heard about, I don't know how many other coins. So what are these basically? These are nothing but these are built on blockchain. Having said that, everything that is built on blockchain is not going to be uh, magic, uh, magical or it's not going to be successful. That's not guaranteed. So what is happening now is these, these organizations, when they come up with an idea, they build it on blockchain and they want to raise fund in order to uh, you know, build the project and in order to be successful. So in order to uh, raise the fund, so if it is a traditional business, you go through an IPO, but if it is a non-traditional business, like something like which is built on blockchain, you go through an ICO, which is called an initial coin offering. So what you do is basically you go on the market and you tell that this is the idea that I'm building on, which is based on blockchain. And would you like to fund? This is what I'm going to trade. These many coins, these are, these are the tokens I'm going to trade for my for the in exchange of your Bitcoin and your Ethereum. So what they are essentially doing is they are, they are offering their tokens, they are offering you coins of that startup, of the project that they are building and what you will get in return, let's say if that project becomes successful in going ahead in future, then those tokens that you're getting have significant value. So this is something will they are basically offering your coin. So and in that the offering of coin, they get some funds from you in 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 the form of Bitcoin or in form of Ethereum. So this is in in short is what is called ICO. Now there are a couple of things that you need to uh, take care of when you are actually putting your Bitcoin or putting your Ethereum, putting your fiat money into an ICO. Let's understand, let me tell you, uh, all the other ICOs that you're coming across, they are not a copy of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, do not, please do not compare them with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized, nobody owns it, it's a protocol, it's an internet, it's like internet. However, these ICO, even though their term is called a coin, but they are very different from the Bitcoin. In these ICO, there are real people involved, there are real people behind this idea, the real people who are actually taking your fund and building it so there's a lot of possibilities that anything can go wrong what i'm saying what i mean to say it may be a scam i'm not saying all of the icus are scam but it may be a scam so the re the way you find out whether an ico is actually a scam or is it actually going to work out in the future uh, is one way is that you read the white paper which is which they publish so if there's an idea that they come up with I'll just give you a simple example so I came across this uh, uh, project called uh, library which is LBRY now this LBRY is built on blockchain and they are very similar to the social media pages like YouTube Facebook where you upload your content like something that I'm uploading right now on YouTube something like this and you get paid directly from the viewers so something like that but then uh, there is no share of revenue like over here the share of the revenue share between google and me but there over there it, since it's built on blockchain there is no share of revenue so it is decentralized you directly get paid for your content so that is lbry so uh, 
LBRY is now a startup which have they come up with this an idea and they are building up they are taking the funds so they are what essentially they are doing it they are essentially offering you their tokens coins so that you invest into it so that they can use the fund in order to build it and if at all in future if they become successful the coin the price of the coin the value of the coin increases and so your money increases so this is in short this is what is an ICO so these are the couple of things that you need to take care of when whenever you think of investing into any of the ICOs first of all read out the white paper secondly find out the people who are behind this idea behind this project check out their history thirdly please uh, keep in mind that this idea may become or may not become successful at all so be ready risk your money only that money which you can uh, which are okay to lose with okay or else don't get in just hold your bitcoin and you're safe um, this is one thing secondly so this is this is very similar to uh, investing in an ICO initial coin offering is very similar to a startup like you you're putting your money into a startup so what happens when you start up a business the business may become very successful uh, or it may just fail uh, one thing that I really want to mention that a lot of these the startups a lot of these ideas are being built on blockchain so yes they may become a Google of blockchain tomorrow but this is just a possibility but not everybody is going to be Google there not everybody is going to be successful right there are few who will, who will be successful so compare this with the probably the internet bubble uh, this is what most people like to compare the blockchain with the internet bubble so when internet came out in 90s or somewhere 90s so a lot of companies started using internet a uh, lot of money went into it just you know it was just like if you have an internet you are successful that's not the case you have to have a real product real service backed by internet and also uh, it the, the transformation the adoption of the internet took time it's it's the fact is that we are using internet now but on those days it was so difficult the infrastructure is not ready so what I'm saying is that maybe the idea is great maybe the, the people are great maybe the, the people are genuine but what I'm saying is that even if you're spending it into an ICO you need to be patient uh, it may take longer than what you're expecting probably a couple of years and in those couple of years maybe a better idea can come up maybe a better organization come up can come up with the built on the same application blockchain and probably they may succeed so uh, so this this ICO thing is more of a kind of internet bubble I'll say that not everything is going to be uh, yes blockchain is the future everything will be based on blockchain in future but that doesn't mean that everything built on blockchain today is is future not everything there are few things right so this is something about an ICO uh, that I want to talk to you about uh, and I'll be updating to you about uh, on my on my channel what are the new ICOs what are the new startups building being built on blockchain what are their ideas what are their white paper so things like that and uh, what I have observed so far is that these ICOs do really pay off well at times because if you look at the ethereum or just an ICO which was which is now worth 30 billion uh, selling at about 14,000 rupees which is about 200 US dollar today but it was just about a few dollar probably a ten dollar five or from the time that I know but it is too so it is, I'm not saying that they would not give you a good return they may give you a good return uh, but that's not guaranteed so have your risk factor uh, considered whenever you considering into an ICO so that's about an ICO so a couple of things to remember ICO is not like Bitcoin though it sounds like a coin but it is not Bitcoin there are real people who actually take your money and invest them your money into projects secondly not every ICO is going to be successful uh, so please take please take care of that please keep that in mind thirdly the adoption the mass adoption may take time so it may take a year or two or three or maybe five uh, before actually the real use of these ICOs actually start happening so these are the couple of things that I wanted to mention 
um, feel free to ask me questions if you have any uh, what else yeah I mean it's lovely talking to you guys and be connected and feels great to share whatever knowledge I have with you guys and please feel to feel free to add if you want to add something uh, would love to hear from you guys also and uh, yeah that's it for now uh, thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming here guys and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe right away and also share this video with some of your friends who are actually take a lot of interest in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology itself and uh, let them know what I what an ICO is so I hope you had fun I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon. Thank you.